I was flying back from New York, 9.25, BA, first class, to London, JFK. The whole week in America, leading up to that flight, on every channel on TV, there was a rolling ticker tape that said, America on red alert, okay? And every bulletin said, we have an intel that there's gonna be another 9-11. This weekend, in New York or LA, do not fly unless you absolutely have to. I had to, I was filming. And if you fly, be extra vigilant. Okay, so I'm there. I'm the only one in the first class lounge, right? And I'm still trying to remain philosophical about it. I'm thinking, right, today's the day you definitely don't try and get a bomb on the plane. Do you know what I mean? You think, no, everyone's, wait till Monday, right? <laughs> and I'm there, and about 15 minutes before boarding, into the first class lounge comes this guy. I don't know whether he was North African or Middle Eastern, but he had all the gear and <laughs> beard, everything. Steel attache case, okay? Here's your middle class rational liberal. I go. I'm suddenly just engaging staff in inane conversation. I'm going, flight on time? They're going, yeah. I'm going, what's the weather like in England? And they're going, oh, it's like they're going to go, oh, it's a bit clap. There he is, right? It didn't, <laughs> didn't happen, right? So now I'm stewing on this, all the things for the week leading up to it. There's going to be a 9-11. It's going to be here. It's going to be today. It's going to be New York. Oh, my God, right? But now I'm in two minds. There's a fight between good and evil, between rational and irrational, OK? So, this one goes, ooh, that's a suicide bomber. <laughs> Don't be stupid. What do you know? That's what they look like. <laughs> Why'd you say that? There's a picture of him on every page <laughs> of the Daily Mail. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stupid. It's a cliche. Don't be stupid. Then he makes a phone call. I can't understand what he's saying, but he sounds a bit angry, right? This one goes, oh, we made a phone call. This one goes, you just made a phone call. <laughs> yeah, but not in foreign. <laughs> just shut, up, shut up, stupid. <sighs> Why do you think that? Look at the beard. <laughs> He's been checked. He's been checked the same as us. Do they check the beard? Yeah, they check the beard. <laughs> they check the beard, OK? And then I'm sort of... It's all going ahead, and I'm sort of looking at him absentmindedly, sort of staring at him. And he catches me looking, and he goes like this. This one goes, oh, he knows. <laughs> this one goes, no, he knows why you're looking at him. He's had that sort of prejudice, that shit, for fucking months. Stop looking at him, shut the fuck up, right? But this one starts winning. The fear starts beating. The rational, OK? So going, well, well, I said it would be today. Yeah, I know, but what? But the statistics, well, they're up today, aren't they? They're up. Yeah, but it w don't give it, it won't happen to us. They said that on 9-11. Yeah, but what about all the checks? Well, they find new ways of getting past our detection. Then we have to up our game, and that's how it... Yeah, you're right. So suddenly, now we're winning there, and I think, oh, my God, this is it. And you get a wave of nausea when you suddenly go, oh, my God, this is it. I I'm one of the people that have witnessed... Is it? And they go, okay, yeah, let's report him. This one goes, no. We can't. Why? In case someone thinks we're racist. <laughs> what? What the f... No, let's report him and be a wrong live racist. Let's, let's... <laughs> Let... And so, I'm there and I think, here's a suicide bomber, I'm going to get on the plane with him and I'm going to die. And I'm having a little breakdown and I'm nearly crying. And all this happens in a few moments. And I look over and he's joined by his wife who's got all the gear and his, <laughs> and his uh, two little girls, right? And I go, oh, of course he's not a fucking suicide bomber. If you're off to see 72 virgins, you don't take the wife and kids along. So, <laughs> and I got on the plane, 
And I was sort of relieved and embarrassed, and I saw the funny side of it. And, and of course, he wasn't a terrorist. He was a businessman and a family man. He was playing with his little girls. He kept running up and down, bumping into my chair. He wasn't doing anything. Um, and, he was, and he was sort of, like, scaring them, and they were screaming at the top of their voice. Like, after half an hour, I was hoping someone would blow the fucking plane up, right? 